They gonna love me for my ambition. Um, yeah, man, Joe, you out here winning. <laughs> Shout speaking, out to him. Shout out to me. But speaking of Joe Budden, um, Andrew Schultz had academics on his podcast. We're gonna play a uh, quick clip moments of academics asking Andrew Schultz about Joe Budden. For those who don't know, Andrew Schultz and Joe Budden have kind of had like a beef online. Andrew Schultz and Joe Budden are two of the biggest podcasters, commentators, entities online. And Andrew Schultz has direct ties with Charlemagne the God because of the Brilliant Idiots podcast, mm. their close friendship. And at the same time, Andrew Schultz and Joe Budden haven't been having uh, the best of a relationship because of the fact of that relationship as well, because Joe Budden doesn't fuck much with Charlemagne, right? So we have moments from the Academics episode of the podcast of Flagrant 2, another one of my favorite podcasts, dope podcast. Both. Wait, who, who else you beef with? I like the beef. You don't we don't beef. We don't, I don't, don't know. Yeah. Are y'all cool with the JVP? Joe Budden podcast? The JVP, Joe Budden podcast. Are we cool with them? No, we ain't coming. This is white people shade. You can tell. That means no. <laughs> no, yeah, white people do that. Why do you get shade when it's just honesty? Like, cool with no. You know he gave you credit recently. He, he I don't about, know. I, listen, with all, with all due respect. With all due respect. I think him and Charlamagne's beef, I don't know what it is. He came on my podcast, he said, you're the star of Charlamagne's life. Uh, which I don't like that. He's using my success to get a Charlamagne. Exactly. But Charlamagne's right? the greatest radio host in our generation. Well, without a doubt. Other than Wendy. Nobody's, yeah. no, no, Wendy doesn't come close. Uh, I do see that where you can make that claim where Joe Budden is just using like the Charlemagne, like he's coming at Andrew shows, but basically coming at Charlemagne because you know he says like Charlemagne is not the star of that podcast, etc. It's Andrew Schultz. Yeah, it's not really bigging up Andrew Schultz; it's using Andrew Schultz to belittle. Yeah, Charlemagne, Charlemagne exactly. Yeah. You know, and I can see that argument in a sense because Andrew Schultz now has blown up. Where like the Netflix specials, he's he's bro, he's the number one, if not number one, at least top three, like touring comedians in the, around the whole world like selling out tours like and Charlemagne played a role in that because Charlemagne decided to make a, a platform with him yeah because Charlemagne I remember when Charlemagne would say like the best art, uh, comedian right now is Andrew Schultz. Schultz and I would be like who the hell is Andrew Schultz the nigga he worked on with MTV when yes, he did the, the, the guy, code. guy code yeah. guy code show and I'm like and he would always say it and I'm like you know Charlemagne keeps saying this shit let me check out this guy and I'm like oh shit this guy, you know, so without the Charlemagne cosign, I would never know who Andrew Schultz is. But there's another dig I think that they take at the JBP right here. I'm is this a button thing? No, you feel no, like you got to no, defend Joe? It's not even you got the biggest patron. No, no, no. Who cares about what? <laughs> Yo, his patron is huge, bro. His I'm gonna say is this. One of I'm the gonna biggest. say this, and y'all gonna think it's yeah, something yeah. bothers us. It's gotta afford. I'm gonna say this. Different different people playing musical hold chairs. Hold and I know. I'll say this, and y'all gonna think it's something. Damn, you heard that? He said that they got 24 people playing musical chairs because the cast is so big now on the Joe Button podcast. So he dig them on there, and then Aziz. Not Aziz, my bad. That's the, that's the other Indian comedian. This is um Akash. I love Akash. My apologies, Akash. I said I called him Aziz. Remember Aziz? I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but he was like, no, it actually really bothers us. Because for a long time, they were the reigning Patreon champs, Flagrant 2. Him saying that is because they found out the numbers of Patreon. Yeah. Because on Patreon, you can make your numbers public or not. Joe Budden's never done that. It's not public. They probably did some digging and got it, and they actually feel salty about Joe Budden's success on Patreon. Without a doubt, you know, without a doubt. And then now he's like, "Oh, so you're just defending Charlemagne? Is it because of the, the Budden thing? Like, what is it? What is it? You're trying yeah. to like blah blah trying blah." Trying to minimize that he's this huge yeah. Patreon person. Yeah, it's now. the biggest Patreon. Like, like um, what's it called when someone talks like that? Like sarcastic, but it, it's patronizing. Patronizing. No, yeah, it's like you're oh. trying to belittle them. Yeah, pun intended. Because of pa Patreon, you're funny. Patronizing. <laughs> My thing is, listen, I get it. Because Joe Budden's a piece of shit sometimes. Yeah, yeah, he'd be, he be trashing that way, dude. He used to a lot. He, and used he now to a lot. does it more to Charlemagne. My thing is though, is like, I hate when niggas use like disses that are not disses. You're going to diss me because I'm getting direct money? Yo, 100K people subscribe to his, shape, his, his, um, his subscription system where it's like minimum $25. Yeah. You know how much that is? That's two point, that, no, it's uh, $250,000. <sighs> Something around there. I might do the math, I might do the math wrong. Bro, but so like, much money. That's insane. A month. In a year, you're at millions. And these niggas think that's funny? My thing is like, I'd rather them weird. work together. Yeah. Because they could be so much bigger. Like, especially Joe Budden. Like, now he's gotten, he gotten shout out by um, Tom Segura, which is like Joe Rogan's best friend, and Brett Kreischer on their podcast. And like, he was like, oh, it would be fun to go on there. So he's like, kind of trying to go into that world, like the Joe Rogan world. If Joe Budden goes into the Joe Rogan world and like does uh, shit like that, where he kind of collaborates with like these white main audience and these subcultures of podcast spaces... He can be the biggest representation in content creation for the black culture, like, without a doubt. Like, he can take it to a different level independently. He would be huge. So I think he needs to drop his ego a bit and do that and collaborate with these people. 
If he goes on uh, Flagrant 2 with, uh, Joe, uh, with uh, Andrew Schultz, debates him, just talk shit with him. Yeah. And then at the end, they'll become friends. Like, you know, like, that'll be dope. Like, that'll be fire. That'll be some good ass content uh, type of pieces. But I think Andrew's right. And this is where I'm like, don't, don't use like bad criticism, like bashing me for being number one on Patreon. Good criticism is what he said. They are playing musical chairs. This shit is trash because of that. I don't like it anymore. The, the Joe Budden podcast. Yeah, I don't like, so many people. I don't like hearing five niggas talk. Yeah. Five, six niggas talk half And they added one more week. people because they added his friend Amani now, the R&B artist. He's no like, way. They added him. So now he kind of goes, but he does not on every time, but he's kind of there and not on there. And I'm like, damn, how the fuck? First of all, now I know why because of the numbers. Makes sense. Um, 2.3 million listens and all this big ass Patreon. And another thing, he's missing a lot of money. 2.3 million listens with no advertisements. Yep. Ever. Now he added ads. This past month, now he's uh, sponsored by Price Picks. So now he does like the sports betting app. Before that, he did like Cash App during the Spotify era. I, I think for that. like two he months. Had Cash App, no, yeah, Cash App for almost half a year. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, but then it stopped. And then it, it stopped because of they came out with the allegations. The, yeah, the old ones. Yeah, the old Joe Budden allegations. Yeah. But then now I'm like, yo, two point three million. You could have been getting that crazy bag. Joe Rogan does like five ads. Like I listen to Joe Rogan, and you got to skip through the ads. And I don't. I just skip through them. It's crazy. So. But that's why these guys have so many camera angles, etc. Um, but yeah, I wish that that beef ends. I've covered that beef on the channel before. It's got a lot of views, the Andrew Schultz and Joe Budden beef. So I wanted to kind of update the people on that. So there you have it. But moving on. They gonna love me for my ambition.